Hello people, Ollie from LondonPatchwork.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a steel drum patch in X for Serum. So as always I'll give you a demo and uh, this patch will be downloadable via my website LondonPatchwork.com. Yeah, so here we go, I'll give you a quick demo. <laughs> Okay, I'll speed it up a bit. Tropical house tempo. So, as you can see, tweaking the uh, attack here on this envelope too slightly changes the brightness. So changing the detune here can Okay anyway so let's jump in and start recreating this. So I'm gonna go across here to a new patch. Okay, so here we are at a new patch. And firstly gonna turn oscillator A to basic MG. We're going to turn the detune up to two, turn this detune down a little bit, somewhere about 0 0.04 or 0 0.05. Leave the blend where it is. Um, we're going to turn the phase down to the bottom and turn the randomize down to somewhere about 35. Uh, we're going to turn this wavetable position up to about 130. That should be fine. I'm going to turn this warp, 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 warp modulator to AM from B. Okay, now oscillator B, we're going to make this a sign. So let's just go with that analog bass drum sign. And we're going to turn the unison up to 4. Uh, turn this detune down to around. 0 0.03 have the blend all the way up I'm gonna have this randomize all the way down and just turn this phase up a little bit um, I'm gonna put the warp the wavetable position up so it's kind of not quite a sign a bit more organic looking and we're gonna turn the warp modulator to pulse width mod and turn that up to just over halfway. Now as you can see the phase starts on the linear section of this waveform. And I'm just going to turn this level all the way down. I'm going to turn oscillator B's octave up one and the same with oscillator A. Now, quickly, I'm going to set filter to a low 18 in the normal section and start this off somewhere about 24 hertz. Not that this needs to be on, but I'm going to turn it on and make sure the key tracking is turned on. Everything else can stay where it is there. Now, we need to go into the global section over here and make a couple of changes. So firstly, we want the stack mode to be 12 one times. I think that's the, the one that I like. I'm going to get this wavetable position to minus 50. Brilliant. Now that's done. We can go back into the oscillator section of Serum. And we'll start molding these envelopes. So envelope one, so the amp envelope, we're gonna have a little bit of attack just so that it's not clipping when each note is triggered. Somewhere around seven or eight should be fine. Uh, get, make sure the hold's on zero. Let's get the decay down to about just over 250 milliseconds. So it's 264. Gonna get the sustain turned down to zero. I'm going to give it about 360, 370 
millisecond. Ooh, hear my stomach rumbling. Yeah, going to give this about 358 or 360 roughly milliseconds of release on envelope one. Okay, then on to envelope two, which we will quickly connect to AM from B and give this about 40. And we're going to connect it to the cutoff. And we give this about 43, 44. And now we're going to make the attack about 265. That should be fine. And we're just going to change the shape of this curve. So try and copy that kind of shape. Um, now we're going to turn the sustain to zero, the decay to about 333, if I can get it there. 340, I'm sure, will be fine. And you're going to turn this release up to somewhere about two seconds. Okay, then on to envelope three, which is also going to be connected to AM from B, a little bit less this time, so somewhere about 35. And we'll shape this so that the attack is about 120 ms. That should be fine. Decay, we want about one and a half seconds. Sustain down to zero, and I'm going to give this about three seconds of release. Okay, so let's have a quick listen of how this is starting to sound. Okay, um, I'm going to turn this sub oscillator on and turn the level to zero and I'm going to use LFO1 as a separate envelope for this. So I'm going to let me just check how much this is. So I'm not bringing it up too much. So I want this only to have about 25 and we're going to turn it on to envelope mode make sure that it's got pretty much no attack and then just create a shape like that okay so that seems to have helped a little bit now um what i think i want to do is change the fine tune on oscillator A, somewhere about 7, between 5 and 8, so I'm just going to put the fine tune on oscillator B down a, a couple of cents. So it's getting there. Um, right, I think that's almost everything in this section, although I might add velocity to the cutoff just so that it just so that it's a little bit brighter, the harder that it gets hit. Okay, so let's get into the effects section. And I'm going to turn on the old hyper dimension. I'm going to get this rate turned up to somewhere about 32% and get the detune turned right down. It's just thickening this up, thickening this up, layering a few uh, versions of itself over itself. And the dimension can be all the way down. Um, I'm going to stick a chorus on this. And just turn that wet down a little bit. Um, turn the depth down quite a bit. So about there. Leave the feed where it is. I think that looks about right. And then we're going to put a compressor on this. going to leave that just for now just if we want it to be a bit brighter then we can always uh, 
uh, if we want it a bit brighter, we can turn the multiband on when we want. So it's good to just have that set up. I'm going to give it a little bit of reverb. So I'm going to turn the reverb size down to about 15, give it a bit extra pre-delay up to about 20 milliseconds. Might put the low cut up just a little bit. I'm going to turn the damp up to about 61. I'm going to leave the high cut and leave the width. I'm just going to turn this mix down a little. Okay, sounding good. Now I'm just going to brighten this a little bit with an EQ. So just on the right, high, uh, right hand section, I'm just going to go with a high EQ and it's going to give it a bit of gain. Somewhere about five is going to be plenty. It's going to turn the Q down a little bit. So I think I'm going to leave this just over a thousand hertz. It's going to brighten that a bit, which is good. And I think we're kind of getting towards the point where this patch is nearly done. Um, I will show you a couple of tricks how to make this sound uh, even better. So what I generally do is um, try and layer this with two two octaves when you play a MIDI pattern. So uh, depending on what um, door you're using, you can do this in various ways. If you have to duplicate a uh, serum and you know move the MIDI pattern up one octave but as we're in Ableton I'm going to create a MIDI effects rack and I'm gonna pitch one up by 12 so I'm just gonna duplicate this chain and turn that up <laughs> Turn it down a little bit, that's probably clipping. So as you can hear, that kind of uh, seems to just thicken the sound a little bit. I see what it sounds like having an octave below instead of an octave above. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go with one up. Okay, so... I'm just going to drag down this MIDI, oh this MIDI pattern's already in there. Okay, and sometimes with this patch it's good to put this envelope 2 on the detune of oscillator A. Don't give it too much. It gives it that kind of ringy metal sound that you get with steel drums. Um, you can always put this, oh, I think this sub oscillator wants to go down one. So yeah, tweak the amount of uh, sine underneath, just gives it that pure tone underneath, gives it a bit of thickness. So yeah, so try tweaking that and try tweaking the attack on envelope 2. So the amount that the velocity is changing the cutoff. Going to the matrix, I'm just going to make sure all these, yep, they're all a left to right type, which is correct. <clears throat> yeah, so I think that's pretty much the patch. Um, the only other thing that might be useful to do is add a velocity randomizer in here. Yeah, so have a play around with the detunes, uh, the cutoff, 
amount and the envelope attacks and decays and releases to get this sound in as good as you can. But yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, let me know with a subscribe or a comment or a dislike or a like, whatever. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.